As if I needed another reason not to like paper straws. They found this new chemical in paper straws that actually make it bad for you. So I'm like, okay, good. Good. I don't like paper straws anyway. This chemical that has been found in paper straws could lead to cancer. I mean, what doesn't cause cancer? We're all gonna die anyway. Just my internal thoughts just coming out. We'll talk about it after coffee. I've encountered so many people that tell me, oh, I don't drink coffee anymore. I read this, I read that. No. If you don't drink coffee in the morning, there's something wrong with you. Like if you can get up and you can just go, get right to business, go right to work, get right into a meeting without coffee, I don't know what kind of person you are. Like some people just get up and go outside and say, oh, a little sunshine, a little vitamin C gets me going. No, you need coffee. I just think it's so important to have a nice cup of coffee in the morning because nothing really starts your day off like a cup of coffee. In the outdoors, getting a little direct sunlight. I'm not saying that direct sunlight is not important. I think it is. As soon as you wake up, you should get a little vitamin C in your body. But coffee. Mmm. That's good. It's prog time, baby. Yes, of course. Please. Head to the room. Please. To the room. It'll yes. Be to the room. Great. You. Excellent. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that'll be all. Thank you. Enjoy Great. Breakfast. Thank I you very much. <laughs> no. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, it was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm kindly asking for someone to come and uh, fetch the plates. Great, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I'm on the set of Wheel of Time. Thank you so much, Prime Video, for sending me to Prague to really get a chance to see this world in person. But it's so fascinating to see all these hardworking people come together to produce a show that means so much to so many people. The production design that goes into creating for a show like this is absolutely amazing. Everything feels real. Look at that. That's amazing. They're blocking my way. Can I pass? No. Oh, I'm getting kicked out. They're closing the gate. They opened the gate for me to get out. Now they're closing it. So I read an interesting quote today. It was from a brain scientist. And it was, never let a thought occur to you whilst indoors. So I got my ass outside and I took a walk for 30 minutes. And then I listened more and more to what this brain scientist was talking about. And he was essentially saying that walking just for 30 minutes a day really breaks down the different brain networks going on up here. And helps with fear processing, it helps with memory, and it also helps with anxiety, stress, and depression. So I'm like... I'm guessing walking's a no-brainer.
there's a workshop behind you, there's a prep team, there's a shoot, shooting crew, you know, so it's a bake, it's a bake. You, know. that you can design whatever you want, but if it's not producible, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, bad news for you paper straw fans. PFV, perfluorical substances found in paper straws. And in fact, there's PFVs in all types of straws, ranging from obviously the plastic straw. Well, I guess the only type of straw that doesn't have perfluorical substances is the steel straw. So if you're the type of person to bring steel straws everywhere you go, whatever beverage you get, you're prepped, you're ready to go, you got the steel straw, that's good. I'm not a straw person generally, I like to sip from the tip, so to speak. <laughs> Let's just banish straws altogether. All right, it's podcast time. Yeah, uh, so excited to, I guess, introduce the, the podcast part of the vlog, I guess. Because if you're listening in audio format only, then you're probably on Spotify. But this is indeed the Davin Tong Podcast, or the Peter Chow Podcast, whatever you want to call it. So we're having a good time today. We're going to talk about, very quickly, how much I got in residuals. You probably think it's quite a bit, but it's not. So let's cover up the name here. Bang. Birth of the Dragon 2016. I received a whopping $106.00. And nine cents. So, rolling in the dough. But I guess now that we're on the topic, what is a residual? And I got it pulled up here on Google. Residuals are financial compensations that are paid to the actors, film, or television directors, and others involved in making TV shows and movies in case of reruns, syndication, DVD release, streaming media, or entertainment and generative AI. And that's exactly what actors are striking about at this time because of streaming. When a show that you've worked on or a movie that you've worked on ends up on a Netflix or a Hulu or an HBO Max, what happens is that it doesn't get reruns. There is no syndication deal. It doesn't end up on TV anywhere. And so what happens is anybody who worked on it as an actor or you're part of the crew you're not getting those residuals. I wouldn't be seeing a check of something that I did in 2016 for $106.09. $106.09 is nothing to sneeze at in 2023, you know, in this economy. So that is about seven years ago. A movie that I did seven years ago. I'm still getting paid monthly basis. I'm getting a check every month in the mail, $100.00. For doing absolutely nothing. And the reason why that these checks are so important is that it is very helpful for an actor in between projects during dry spells, when you're auditioning for the next project, after you're done a certain movie or TV show. It's important to get these checks. It's important to stay afloat with these checks. These checks help with that. They may not pay an entire month's rent, but... It'll help you maybe get some groceries or pay the daycare bill if you got kids. And these little mini checks, especially accrued over time, you know, if you've been acting long enough and you've got tons of projects on the go, if they're on TV, then yeah, it's important to get those checks. And I have received more checks for a, a movie that I did seven years ago that still airs on TV and people still buy it on uh, Apple TV for five bucks. I still get paid for that versus a television show that ended up as an official Netflix original. So you think, oh, you've made it. You're doing a movie for Netflix. No. You make it on Netflix, you actually make less money over time. And I think that's what, that's what the strikers are striking about. And any anger sort of directed at actors for slowing down 
the workflow uh, of everybody getting back to work should be directed to the CEOs. 